All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants doing another free agency film breakdown. And today we're looking at interior offensive line. I mean, Max Garcia, you see him lined up here at right guard number 73. Um, Giants continue to add depth. Depth, You know, this isn't big game hunting. But you know what? Max Garcia has as good a shot of starting at that left guard spot as really anyone on the roster right now. You know, is going to be at right guard. It seems like they're going to use Feliciano at center. Although Garcia does have center tape and we're going to go through that. Um, but as far as Garcia as a player, he's got quick feet. You know, he, he's he's aggressive in pass pro. Like, you know, they say, you know, pass pro isn't passive. He's aggressive in pass pro, and he's really good picking up stunts, helping when he's at center. Um, in the run game, there's just a lot to be desired. You know, he, he does a good job, like, getting to the initial punch, but he just doesn't have that drive through it. So we're going to go through all of that. First, make sure to like and subscribe. And listen. If you want to know more about these free agencies, check out the free agency uh, playlist. Got every single free agent they've signed uh, a, a film breakdown onto. So let's get into it. Max Garcia. Also kind of weird Will Hernandez to the Cardinals, Garcia to the Giants. Cool. All right, let's go. First play, we're going to go through some pass pro uh, at guard. This was week 18 versus the Seahawks. So he's got this guy lined up wide. Sets his feet. Getting depth. Puts the right hand out as a feeler. Left hand goes outside. See him readjust it, which is good. Keeping those feet moving again. Gives up some ground, but overall a good rep. Go through it live. Bam. Hand replace. A win as a rep. Here. You're going to see him. Uh, this is where he's aggressive in pass pro. He's got this guy lined up. And he fires He fires out of the stance to set toward uh, to jump set players. See, ball snap. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, he's, he's, bringing, he's bringing it. Good hand strike inside. Can't see with the pull. Keep the feet moving. Goes back inside. All right, we're coming back inside. He's got a good. He's got a good ability to mirror guys. Good hand strength. Bam. And a lot. I'm telling you, a lot of guys when these have these wide alignment, they really struggle with that. And he does have some that will show. But here, set out. Set out to him. You want to play. You want to be head up with a player. You don't want to be playing half man. You don't want to be lined lined up here because then he could beat you to the edge, and then you're opening your hips, and then allows you to inside counters. Good job. Set to him. He's going inside counter. Watch the left foot. Meeting him there gets a little help because the center's uh, lined up and and deal and there's traffic there, but good rep. It's very similar thing right here. Stun him. Fire out of that stance quick. Stun him. Ready, patient. Using those hands. Keep him off you, patient. Not over not getting too punchy. Just patient. Good rep. Taking the will out of a defense alignment. Off of that, that first first punch. So hut, bam, 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 punch. Ready. Reload. Ready. Good rep. Good rep. Now here's where that jump setting can get him into trouble. Because you got your momentum going one way. The defensive lineman counters inside. Again, good. Good. Bring it. The hands are, are too wide on this. Though. You see how these hands are wide like that? Defensive lineman is able to break them off and he's just not able to power down in time. Not a disaster rep, but surely not a good rep. Same, similar thing here. I mean, look how quick he is out of his stance. He's quicker than any. He's quicker than the center. He's quicker than everybody out of his stance. But again, when you're moving like that, your momentum's going one way. The defense alignment's going the other. If you could, get, instead of clamping this hand, punch, shoot that hand and punch. Helps you with balance. It helps you with better hand placement. 
Defense Samuel's like able to swipe him off, and then it's recovery mode. Now you got your guy in the lap of your QB's face again. He's got good. He's got good athleticism to recover, but still not great. And stunt pickup. I mean, he he's and we know our right guard last year was very bad at stunt pickup. Our right tackle as well. He's good. He's really good at stunt pickup, knowing what's going, what's happening. This isn't the best one, but it's the nastiest one. Again, setting towards this player. Sees it, turns the head, pick it up. He's strong, so homie's on the ground, and just this nastiness. I love this. I love this, and I know Will Hernandez had this a little bit in him, but it doesn't make you a good player. But I still love it. I loved it from Will, and I love it from Max Garcia. Finish the play. Don't let him get up. The, the QB's the ball still in your QB's hand. Finishes it. Finish him. Bam. Don't let him try. He's gonna try and get up. Bam. Bam him. He's down again. He wants to get back up and make a play on this. Nope. I mean, just bullying. It's taking the will out of a defense line. I love that type of stuff. Next rep. Again, good. He's slanting inside. Hold it, hold it, pass it off. Reload. Bam, good stunt pickup. Again. Part of it is not just like, oh, look, a stunt's happening. It's IDing it. That when this guy is rushing straight upfield, that you know what? A stunt's probably coming. So pass this off, pass this off, and be ready for this player. Good stunt pickup. Let me put my phone on silent. It's a good stunt pickup. By the way, I, f I wanted to mention this in the, fir in the beginning. Um, he gave up four sacks and 17 pressures and 11 starts. Uh, this past season, nine of the pressures and two of the sacks were in the two games versus the Rams and Aaron Donald. So I'm sure that had a little bit, little bit to do it. All right, let's go through the run game at the guard spot. You know, good, good job getting there. One, two, quick feet. But he just plays high with not very good knee bend. You see how high he is. I mean, he's. You know, he's essentially, the you know, got the highest pad level of all these offensive linemen. And he just doesn't have that drive to his game. Now the player redirect, the defensive lineman redirects because the, uh, where the, where the back is. But he just doesn't roll the hips and, and keep those feet powering through. There's not a lot of power in, in his feet. I do like this though. Again, nastiness. You want to get a late hit on a running back that's uh that's already going to the ground? Bam. Bam for dude. Bam. I love that stuff. Next rep. Whoops. Again, good job getting there. One, two, quick, bam. You bring your punch. I know his punch is wide, but he's got that high pad level. He's not able to just finish these blocks. If this defense alignment's playing high, he doesn't have great leverage, you should be able to drive through this player. And instead, he's getting some help on the tackle. Right here on this one. Again, good start. Feet moving, bringing the punch, just playing high, skinny base, not bringing the power to it. So he works with good quickness and, and good angles, but he just doesn't have that power that he's bringing through. Again, good job, hands inside. Here's some good leverage, but he just doesn't have like that, that power. This is a better rep though. I like this. Like, bring this more. Drive it. I know it's through, through the pile, but bring that foot drive through it. So, again, in the run game, that's what we got as guard. Let's go through some of his center stuff. Again, lined up at center. Pretty simple, right? I'm um, just going to go through, like, how he IDs stuff and helping people out. Again, being quick. Being quick with this stuff. 
you set, you help. He's playing outside. Okay, you got a one-on-one. You've got this guy. He's beating your right guard really bad. I mean, saves his right guard. We saw Nick Gates do this for Shane Lemieux a lot uh, in 2020. Like, just, this, this is an embarrassing rep for the right guard. But, this is why it's five guys working together. Four-man rush. Bam. Bamf his ass. Again, if he checks on this one, maybe two seconds, this guy's right in Kyler Murray's lap. But instead, Kyler Murray is able to set, throw, and get himself a nice completion. Here, similar. Help with your left guard. Put that feeler hand out there. Again, right guard getting embarrassed. They're the help. They're the help. Let your QB set his feet. Have a nice throwing lane to throw through. Getting depth with it. Not being stuck at the line of scrimmage like Billy Price would. Where Billy Price would be stuck right here. And then by the time he's you know IDing where to help, it's all behind him. Getting depth. Load up, deliver a hit. Good stuff. Good stuff helping guys out. As far as stunt pickup from the center spot. He's got the head up. Work this, work this. I'm telling you, a lot of guys get stuck on this. Linebacker looping around. Pick it up. Working together. Next rep. Buckner looping around. Come off on it. Wash him around. Ball's already out, but again, good rep. Good rep there. Now, we'll finish off in the run game center. It's, it's a lot of the same. It's like he works a good angle on this. You know, flips those hips around. That's a good angle. But he's got a high pad level. The feet don't drive. They're more hopping than power, you know, stomping. And he's able to shed that. Again, very similar. Again, these aren't these aren't the worst reps in the world. But you've, you've won the angle battle here. Flip these hips a little more and keep those feet driving. But look, there's just not power in those feet. I like when he, you know, as a player redirects to keep him moving. But again, you got to be, you know, br bring more power to those feet. So, overall thoughts on the guy. He's going to come in and compete. I, you know, I think Andrew Thomas and Mark Lewinsky should be the only slated starters. It seems like Feliciano is one of those. We don't know what's going to happen with Gates. Uh, everything says that he might, probably won't be ready to go week one. Uh, Shane Lemieux is coming back. Uh, you know, they, 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 they're bringing depth and the draft is coming up. So this guy should be starting for or battling for a starting spot. So I'm interested to see what he looks like. Um, you know, he's 30 years old, started 52 games in the NFL. So interesting. Good on the Giants to continue to bring in people uh, at this offensive line. This isn't an overnight fix. Bring in guys that can battle and have started NFL games. So, again, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the free agency break uh, uh, breakdown playlist. I think there's 9, 10, 10 videos on there now. Send it to your Uncle Jeff or, or whoever. So, appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go Big Blue.